everyone, Joel Hansen here. And today we're outside Badass Burrito. Yes, B-A-D-A-Z-Z -Z Burrito. Badass Burrito. Here to do an $1,100, just $1,100, one, one, zero, zero dollar burrito challenge. Basically, this is their three pound burrito. You have one minute and 51 seconds to complete the burrito, and if you do, you get $1,100. So this is like a jackpot burrito prize. Um, it climbed for a long, long, long time, topping at about 1,300. And then uh, Bob Shout came and did it. Uh, so congratulations to him. And now they are back offering $1,100 for the burrito. So I don't know if the jackpot, where it started, or if it already climbed back up to 1,100 or like however that works. But anyway, it's now at $1,100 if you can beat it. I will say though, if you don't beat the one minute 51 seconds, you do actually have four minutes to complete it to get it for free. Um, and then the burrito is $32 if you eat it over four minutes. So yeah, so you technically have four minutes to get it for free, one minute 51 seconds to get $1,100, and otherwise you're paying $32. So I hope that makes sense. But anyway, let's head on in and see what we can do, uh, from my understanding. Um, I don't exactly know what's on it, but I think it's pretty plain. Uh, I think it's like uh, beans, uh, meat, uh, a cheese, and rice, I think, something along those lines. So anyway, let's head on in and see what we can do. Let's have some fun, wish me luck, and uh, let's eat some food. How many people have tried this thing? Like lots, I would say right? like at least 60, at least. We haven't gotten them all on video. He doesn't post all of them. Cause when the first time it happened, we were having people try like three times a day. Wow. Yeah, up until somebody like finally beat it. Like two months ago. That's crazy. Yeah, now it's climbing back up to a thousand. Three times a day. That's crazy. Probably two times a day. Wow. At least for the morning shift. We don't know if anyone came in the night shift. So. Probably more. All right. Okay, so here are the burrito. Um, it is uh, meat, refried beans, and cheese, and rice, I believe. So yeah, so it's pretty standard. But yeah, it's uh, definitely gonna be an interesting one. Again, really wish me luck. We're only gonna have a minute and 51 seconds to do so. Thank God for this one. Like for the owner, it's basically like, where, what's your name, where you're from. Okay. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Okay. And that's it. So just let me know when you're ready. All right. Time will start like when I take a first bite. That as soon as I, as soon as I say go is when I'm gonna be pressing the button. So okay. it'll be the same time. Okay. So let's actually get started. Definitely a big, big, big burrito. Not a lot of time. That's the difficulty. Can we do a countdown together? Yeah. Sure. Okay. So three. All the way. Let's do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, I have my headphones on the camera here, so okay. how about we do at the count of uh, five, four, three, two, one. Yeah. 
about that. So we officially beat the badass breed up. Hell right. I was a little worried going into that, but we did it. So, hell right. I don't know what the official time was. I don't care. It's just under the required time. So, thanks everybody. That felt good. That was, that was a hard one. That was, I had to push, push a little bit for that one. But, uh, glad we did it. Glad we did it. Thank you everybody. Hope you enjoyed this video. A little bit of a quick one today. Woo! That was interesting. Until next time, have a little day. Fun fact, also totally forgot to make a thumbnail. Luckily, they have some of these three pound prop burritos around. Although mine was a lot bigger than this one, but let's go show you this. So, making a thumbnail of the prop burrito. What's your name when you're a couple? Oh, yeah. Uh, it's Joel. And normally in the videos, the gentleman's throwing cash around, but no cash. Just just checks today, so. But it's alright. I'll take it. I'll definitely take that. Around. And while you're in Texas, I, I always, always, always been in the States, so I always try to go shooting, whether it be in Florida, Texas, etc. But here we are with our friends from Texas Gun Vault. We have Jason, we have Becky. So if you're not familiar, definitely check out their channel down below. He covers all kinds of different firearms, etc., etc. here in Frisco, Texas. So Frisco Gun Club, we're gonna be doing some shooting and uh, let's have some fun. All right, Jason, so walk us through what we are shooting today, my friend. We got a Taurus G4X, one of these new very small subcompact guns on the market. It's into the channel on loan for a, a Ranger port. And I got two guns that are on loan from a friend. I got a Glock Generation 2, 20. This is in 10 millimeter. And a really cool revolver, the Smith & Wesson Performance Center 327. That's gonna be a lot of fun to shoot. Never shot a revolver like this before. So here we have the Taurus GX4. It's a little sub-compact 9 mil. And I will say, I mean, this is, this is fitting on you anywhere in person, which is pretty cool. All right, and here we have the Performance Center 327 featuring a 357 Magnum, so we got some power. This gun is really beautiful. I actually just shot it, but uh, I really like it. I'm super impressed, so if you're looking for a revolver, I would recommend. Becky be killing it. All right, so I first gotta say this thing is definitely more snappy than the 1911. That's probably because of the polymer construction. But I definitely feel the recoil a lot more. Man, I like this caliber. I don't like the fact that the grip is so thick, and that's just an artifact of the fact that these cartridges are so large. It's the same frame size as the Model 21 and 45 ACP. So I think if you have smaller hands, you might not like this particular firearm. All right, here we got the Glock 20. So this is actually a 10 millimeter. I've never shot a 10 millimeter before, so I'm very excited about that. Um, I mean, 10 mil, it's known for stopping power. It's known for, oh, 
I will say a Glock is, in general, probably my favorite handgun I've ever used, specifically if it's like a 45 cal. I mean, the stopping power, the bread and butter, it is so smooth. So I'm really excited to try this one out. Woo! It's like you're you're just you're gonna have fun with that and if you ever needed a handgun at your disposal I would definitely always choose a Glock like yeah this 10 mils it, it's pretty cool I'd recommend it I definitely recommend it the one thing I do want to say after shooting this that I really do like about Glocks is how consistent they are this is a generation two so this thing probably dates to the mid 90s and it shoots just like a gen 5 does today the trigger feels the same So again, huge thanks to Jason and Becky. Like I said, guys, definitely check out their channel. Um, but yeah, thanks for having me out. It was a lot of fun shooting today. Well, thanks for coming out. It's amazing. I tell you, like I said, I like food. They like food. If you, I like guns. They like guns. So I think it's a good combo when you're down here in Texas. So hey, until next time, my friends. And uh, that's it, everybody. Just have a lovely day.